Hey guys, I just wanted to make a little video here for you. Um, something I learned that is uh, could be a help to a lot of people, uh, kind of a preventative measure. You know, my motor had issues. Um, the bearing on it went out, and so I thought, well, I'll just buy that rebuild kit. Rebuild kit 3352R. Remember that? That's for the um, Traxxas Slash or the Valenian 3500 motor. Here comes Teddy to help. Um, <clears throat> screw over, buddy. Screw, screw. Keep going. <laughs> um, and I, I thought. I can't remember what this was, like $13 maybe. And I thought, that's a cheap fix. So I changed the motor, or the, the bearings in it, and put it back together. And for first half hour, it was probably fine. But after that, it got so bad that it just it was like hitting the brakes and I even made a video about it um, couldn't quite figure out why when I let up on the gas it was like and it just it was like I thought yeah, the mesh was bad or something was wrong but it was just the actual motor once it had messed up there's no fixing it this yellow wrapping around the rotor is actually holding the magnets this yellow wrapping is holding the magnets in place and see right there where it's shiny This was once it once it started running more RPMs, it would expand out and rub inside here. So it was literally too late to fix because this was caused by the bearing going out. Once the bearing went out and there was more play in there, this started scraping up against the wall and rubbed that yellow coating off that was holding it all together. So it's kind of like once your bearing goes out, depending on how bad it is, if it looks like this, there's no fixing it. It's, it's too late. I have not found any possible way to fix it. I haven't really had any luck finding just the rotor. Um, I found it on a couple different sizes, but I couldn't find it for this size. So you're kind of stuck buying a new motor altogether. So what I was thinking is a good preventative measure is even, think about it, this is $13. If you do it once a year, I mean, this made it two years before that happened. I think my thing is going to be once a year I take the motor apart and replace the bearings. It's going to take a lot longer to add up to a $65 motor and that 65 bucks is buying it on eBay. That's the cheapest I've been able to find it, 65 bucks. Depending on if you buy it at a hobby shop, it's $90. So a $13 preventative measure once a year is going to be what I do from now on just to save this from happening again. And it's super easy to do it. It's not hard. I think the more you do it, I mean, if you do it every year, it'd be really easy to do it. Once the motor or once the bearing actually has an issue, that's we that's when it becomes a actual problem taking it out and getting it apart with the bearing still in working order 
it works fine. Like the bearing end of this hole right there, this shaft goes right in there. So when you're looking at the end of your motor, that's it right there. That just, that copper piece holds it in place. And then there's another one that goes down in there that this slides in there. And the other bearing sits on here. Um, just something I thought I would share because now that this is bad, I already spent the 13 bucks and it didn't fix it. And I'm going to have to spend 65 more to just replace the motor. So you're, you're kind of better off to, I think, once a year do this. I mean, you could push it to two years, but then this might happen and then you're out of luck. So just the, something I thought I would share with everybody that uses this motor. Um, if you have had an issue, I would love to, to know how long yours lasted. How long did yours last before it went bad? Comment down below if you've had one last longer than two years or if you had one go out after six months. I, I can't see them going out before a year because I've been really rough on this for two years. But, so, just wanted to share that with you. Um, share the video. I think it'll be helpful for people to learn that because most people just, once it goes bad, they buy a new motor. But I'd rather spend $13 for five years every, I mean, it'd take five years to even equal that 65 bucks. So, and you're not going to have a motor last five years. Maybe you could, but you must not drive it very much. So like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next awesome RC Action video. Thanks, guys.